What is up everyone, Movie Way, I'm back again with another video and yesterday I went out and met up with a fellow YouTuber called Aiden from The Movie Insider and we went to Liverpool City Centre, my local town and we went to HMV, CX and what have you, you know, all the shops that you want to hit and I'd just like to say Aiden was a really nice guy, it was really nice to meet up with him finally I've had him on a live stream before and I talked to him quite a bit in, you know, on Instagram and stuff like that so what I'm going to do is show you the little vlog that I filmed yesterday um, and, you know, what we got up to in the town centre and then I'll come back here into this room and show you everything that I picked up. But if you want to skip all that, I'll put a timestamp down below where it just shows you what I picked up. So let's head on over to yesterday's vlog where I met up with Aiden and we've done a bit of Blu-ray hunting. Hello everybody, so I've just got to town now, um, I'm going to meet Aiden in about an hour and a half, the movie insider, uh, I'm just doing a little bit of clothes shopping first because I've got a wedding coming up, so my dad's trying to help me, you know, find something suitable for the wedding, um, so I'm going to do that for like an hour and a half and then I'll meet up with Aiden and then I'll get back to you all then, so uh, next time I'm filming it'll probably be when I'm with him, but you know, the there's a few CEXs here, there's a couple in town, there's a HMV and there's two comic book stores, uh, Forbidden Planet and Worlds Apart, so we'll probably be going to them uh, and HMV last. You usually save the best to last anyway, so uh, yeah, see you all in a second. So I've just met up with Aiden, the movie insider, say hello Aiden. Come on guys, okay. <laughs> Are you after anything today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything 4Ks, in mind? Or? 4Ks, 4Ks. Um, Fright Night. Fright Night, yeah. um, oh the... Um, the, re the remake. The re oh, the remake. Oh, you after that yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm after. I'm just going to see if there's any bargains. But first shop we're going into is right here, which is CEF, as you can see there. So uh, yeah, we'll be like I said, we'll be going to HMV last, but see it in CEX in just a second. So here we are in CEX, and this is more stocked than usual. Sometimes these shelves in this one are really empty, but. So I must have brought a hell of a lot of Blu-rays in. Maybe their whole collection, I don't know. But uh, there just seem to be a lot more than usual. The Irishman cover reprinted, of course. And then we've got a few Jurassic Parks there. Village of the Damned, a film I've always wanted to see. I actually regret not picking that up. But I'm sure there's another version out there, which has sort of put me off. And then just some more Blu-rays. La La Land, my Probably the best musical I've seen alongside Wizard of Oz. And then we've got three of them Lord of the Rings box sets. People may be taking them back now because the 4K is out and stuff. Oh, God, The Matrix Resurrections. <sighs> Less said about that film, the better. <laughs> and Pulp Fiction on the bottom there. What One of the best films ever made. Peaky Blinders, Pirates of the Caribbean 5 set, 5 movie set, should I say. And then we've got some, like, Low budget movies, really, like over a pound and stuff like that. Shaft from the HMV collection for six pound. That's not bad, to be honest. And just a few more there. Star Wars. Yeah, quite a big selection. The Shining 4K, twelve pound. Not bad. No slip cover though, but it doesn't really bother me too much. I know people love slip covers. And then we got the Thing box set. Three of them on 4K, but these boxes were a little bit damaged. It's just weird that they had three of them in there. Twenty pounds, and then Twin Peaks, Venom, oh God, Venom Two as well, and the X Files box set at the bottom there, seventy pound. A show I wouldn't mind watching. Okay, so just been to see X, got a few things which I'll show at the end of the video. Uh, happy with these purchases, but we're going into Menkai now because we've just seen a load of Funko Pops at the front of the store, as you can see there. So we'll go in here. Quite a big selection of Funkos in here, all weird ones as usual as well, G.I. Joe and stuff. <laughs> the Matrix, off the new movie, I would prefer the older films, but yeah, they're, of course they're going to sell the new movie, aren't they? And then we had Spider-Man ones, Miles, I think they might be Miles Morales, yes they are. A few Division ones and stuff, I love that one there. Is that the Halloween costume he wears in what, the Halloween episode? Yeah. Nice little selection. Well, these are all the Marvel ones, Hawkeye and stuff like that. A few more Avenger ones. Notorious B.I.G. just stuck right in at the Marvel ones there, which was weird. 
and then we've got some Eternals. I'm not going to collect the Eternal ones. There's, if I get one, I'll have to get them all. <laughs> some Men in Black ones as well. All types of movies and TV shows here in the Funko Pop selections. June, of course. See them a lot. And we got a few Disney ones around here. Encanto and stuff like that. Some of these were only like £5. Like, you can see the price tag there on Aladdin. £5.97, that's not bad. And then, I love that one, The Alien from Toy Story. <laughs> and we've got some more over here. This is the last shelf, I believe. I think it is. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Uh, Rocky and Apollo Creed. Recently picked Rocky up. I w would like to get Apollo Creed at some point. Just to go next to Rocky there, but... I'd love Club Alang. If I ever come across Club Alang, I will pick that up instantly. Mini Puff Marshmallows. I do own one of them. And some more on the bottom there. More Disney ones and stuff. And then we have these DC figures, which are quite cool, I thought. They were only £20 each, but these ones at the bottom, off the new, uh, some of them are off the new Batman movie. So we've got Bruce Wayne there. Robert Pattinson. And the Riddler. And Catwoman at the end. Right, so I did get a Funko Pop from Mankind, which again, I'll show at the end on the of the video, but we're just going into the, the Entertainer now, which is a store I've never been into in before. I'm just trying to get it on the camera there. But Aiden seems to think this Funko, Funko Pop's Pop. <laughs> in the air, so we'll, we'll yeah. have a little look. So I did get something from the Entertainment store. Yes, it was another Pop Vinyl. Is the bag? Uh, they had a few good days, a little selection in there, but we're going into CEX now. Station. So let's let's go in there. This is a smaller CEX. Uh, Anthropagus is a film that has always always intrigued me, but for twenty pound, it is a little bit of an ask. Um, but they had some good movies in here too. Very, very different from the other CEX. And they've got Battle Royale there. I do own that movie, but not that big box set, which is lovely. Some more standard Blu-rays. American Beauty, what a film that is. Bad Boys 2 on 4K and stuff. Now, here's one of my favourite slasher movies of all time. Child's Play 2, the best in the franchise for me. I love Chucky in that movie. And they had a lot of Chuckies in there, actually. There was some on the other side as well. I think they had C, the Chucky and stuff in the S's. You got Dio Hunter, the Godfather box set. There's just all kinds in this one. For such a small store, they have such a big selection. Eden Lake, whoa, that's a very disturbing movie. Just a few more little standard Blu-rays there. About five Goodfellas. <laughs> Ghostbusters on 4K. And then we have some more up here, of course, on the H's now. Harry Potter box sets and stuff. I do own the 4K for that, though. And then Incredible Hulk on 4K, £12. Mm, don't know about that. Beauty and the Beast. Jungle Cruise. Knight Rider, never seen it. And Lord of the Rings box sets in there again. And we've got a Mad Max box set, which I do own. Just all kinds in here, really. Sorry, I some of them are on the side and I can't include all the prices. Do apologize. Like I said, there's just so many in here. That poor must be the easiest Blu-ray to get hold of. <laughs> just see it everywhere I go. Rabbit Dogs looks interesting. <sighs> Better that's a rough film. And then we've got the Rocky box set, one of my favourite franchises. And the last little shelf here. Road to Perdition. Really, really great movie that. Didn't know it was based on a DC comic. Still water. New movie from last year. Then we've got Sleepaway Camp. Suicide Squad. I was on the lookout for that, but I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Stand By Me, one of the best dramas out there. See the Chucky, like I said, it was there on that shelf. Top Gun, going to give that a rewatch before the new one comes out. Terminator Sarah of Connor Chronicles, which I've never seen. I really show them a Terminator fan. Um, we're getting to the end of the shelf now. 
the witches box set done an unboxing video on that water world seen that a few times it was in the other cx as well but it didn't film it and we got this big box set on the end from arrow so i picked up four more blu-rays in there uh, they're in this bag again gonna have to wait till the end of the video but uh, we're going into forbidden planet now yeah Okay, there's not a much in Forbidden Planet, to be honest. I think it's a store that's gone a little bit downhill lately anyway, myself, but there was nothing in there really. But uh, we're going into Worlds Apart now, which is a much better shop. Aiden's looking forward to this one, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to get some Funko Pops. Yeah, picking up a Funko, he's determined, so. Yeah, I this some, some in the... But uh, we'll go inside and have a look. This Funko section I filmed isn't as long as the other one because we are mainly here for Blu-rays, but that Spider-Man one was great. I would love to get Spider-Man in my Funko Pop collection. Just a little standard Spider-Man. I think it's from the new Spider-Man movie. And we got some Shang-Chi and stuff there. I love that Shang-Chi one where it's just he's doing a big round house kick. That's a cool little Funko Pop. And we got some Batman ones here. The Joker, which I recently picked up. And then we got the Batman, the new movie. And then they had them all in this display cabinet above. Oswald Cobblepack, Catwoman on the bike is great. I do own that Batman one. And there we go. Some t-shirts here now as well. Love the Batman t-shirts. I was thinking about picking one of them up. Look at that Ghostbusters one there with the Marshmallow Man. That's great. Yeah, they have a nice selection of t-shirts in here. They only recently got them in as well. I own that Friday the 13th and Chucky one. <laughs> And then we got some collectibles here, all the horrible collectibles. These mid-sized figures are great, aren't they? Uh, yeah, this is pure nostalgia for me. Just all my favourite horror movies. And they are figures inside. So we've got Pennywise there from the miniseries with all different heads and stuff. This is something I'd buy that I probably wouldn't take out the box because I think they are nice display boxes to have. We got Leatherface there. I always look at that every time I walk in. I look at that. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street 3, my favourite in the franchise, of course. The best Freddy movie. Wouldn't mind picking that one up as well at some point. I really don't know whether to delve into them, but you can't collect so many things, can you? It just overtakes <laughs> your life if you start collecting too many different things. I wouldn't mind one or two of these, though. Friday the 13th. Got all different ones, like part 3, part 4 and stuff. Horror Collector's Dream, these, and I love these Terminator ones. Terminator 2, one of the best films ever. I love this one from the first Terminator, just before he sort of gets blown up and his face starts coming off and stuff. And we've got Terminator 2. I, they actually have a T-shirt at there online. I would love to get that as a T-shirt, but Cavity Colors still did sell out. That's a cool little figure there. Linda Hamilton, the best character in that movie for me. Okay, so we saved HMV for last. Uh, worlds Apart, I have seen something in there that I might go back for, but it depends what I see in here. But right in front of us now, just behind them trees. The main man itself, HMV, so let's go in. So some ADA films here. Very, very strange label. Like, I do like some of the titles. They get some really weird out there ones. I just don't think they're as good as Arrow's. Uh, but there is some that do interest you when you come across that section. They are picking it up lately, though. Alice Sweet Alice. Hey, that's a great movie. Anaconda. We've seen that in CEX for £22. It's 25 brand new there. I probably should have picked that up, to be honest. <laughs> I'd love that little box set in my collection before it gets sold out. Candyman 2, not as good as the first one. Well, mad titles like the Chinese boxing and stuff. You know, they've just got some really out there titles. And we have Delirium, which is a great cover, but I've heard it's not a very good film. 
Nightmare Beach is one I am intrigued to see. I've seen that in CX quite a few times as well. Sleepaway Camp, I would pick them up if they had the first one, but they don't. I've never seen them. Robot Tricks, I think John from Mondocello Movies picked this one up a while ago and said it was a good movie. A nice little set that. Ricky O, that always used to turn up in the goriest movies that I used to search on the internet when I was looking for the most goriest films out there. That always used to turn up in them lists. And then we have the Arrow section. Just all the usual ones. The Burning, one of my favourite slasher movies ever. Probably my favourite slasher film that didn't get a sequel. And then we have Gamora Boxer. Not really my type of thing, to be honest. Big monsters fighting and stuff. El Topo, that's a crazy movie. Don't Go in the House, recently picked that one up. I've talked about it a couple of times. Deadly Games, I was looking at this one for a while because I love the cover. Maybe I'll go back and grab that. Don't worry, I did pick up a couple of things in here. House box set. I don't think that's worth £45, but it's a good little franchise, fun little franchise. New release, Frankenstein, but I don't think that was the 4K, so I didn't grab it. And then we've got the ring box set, of course, which I own. All sorts over here. Phenomena. Don't really know too much about it, but it was a nice box set when I had a look at it after filming. And then we've got all the rest that you usually see. And then underneath, we do have the Arrow Academy, which is The Hunter, very, very underrated movie. Being John Malkovich is one I've always wanted to check out. My friend Kyle always tells me to watch it. And then just the last few there. Not too interested in the Arrow Academy, but here we have the HMV Premium Editions, Clash of the Titans, a movie that I used to see on TV all the time. I think it was on every Sunday. Now, these usually go to 2 for 15, so I didn't pick any up. They were 2 for 25 at the minute, but I don't know if HMV are going to do that again. It's kind of a too-good-to-be-true deal, so maybe they'll just keep it 2 for 25 from now on. I don't know. Escape to Victory, a film I really need to see. Haunting, Golden Child, another one that I'm very interested in. King Kong, 1933 film. And just the rest here. Wolfine, that you see at the end in a second. I think I've jumped the gun, sorry. We've got some more. Scarface there. Need to grab that one. The original movie. The Thing, another one I need to grab because that is the original Thing movie. But here at the end is Wolfine, one that I am kind of interested in as well. And then we have the HMV collector's editions which have whole different arty style covers there the matrix one's great and then we got the one-on-one films this is a label i do like that bag head looks really strange <laughs> but this is a this is a decent little uh label brain dead in one of them uh box sets i picked the cooler up not long ago effects looks interesting existence z with jude law hey that's a really great film and then we've got a few more over here that I haven't really heard of. Apart from Howard the Duck, you all know that movie. Jungle Trap. Now, this is another one that John from Mondo Celevic Movies highly recommended. I was really put off by the back, though, because it just looked terrible <laughs> when I looked at it. The New Kids, very, very hidden gem of a movie. I do recommend picking that up if you see it. She Freak, a lot of people have picked that one up lately. And then we just got a few more on the bottom. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Snowtown. Now, that is a movie that is so dark and twisted. I do recommend it, though. Really, really realistic film. Uncle Peck Ahead. I'm going to grab that one there, sure. And then we have some 4Ks here. I think this might be the last little section I filmed, but these were 2 for 30. Collateral. American Psycho. Eternals on the top. Not a bad deal. 2 for 30. It's only just come out, really. The Prestige, one of Nolan's best movies, for sure. See these a lot in deals, don't you, these ones? The Invisible Man. Terminator Genesis, oh my God, what a terrible movie that is. Leon, one of the best 90s films, I feel. 
Scarface, so rewatchable. Beetlejuice, not a film I love. I'm not going to lie. Hitman's Bodyguard 2, a new release, really. And just some more here at the bottom. Just went over this really quickly. They're just your standard 4Ks that you see in most deals there. So it is the next day now. Uh, I've just taken my little son for a walk. We go to the Strand, which is about a 25 minute walk, but you know, it's the most interesting place. <laughs> You know, around my house really because it's got a CEX there and he just goes to sleep in a pram, so why not? Uh, so, this is going to be the last little stop of this video. I just got my headphones in listening to Lisa Loves what she's watched this week. So, Lisa, if you're watching, uh, enjoying the video. Um, so, we'll just see if there's anything in this CEX. There is uh, a game trade, not game trader. I forgot the name of the store, but one where people just take stuff in, just over the road. I might have a little look in there as well, but I don't know where. Uh, but I won't do too much filming in the shop, because we've filmed a lot of shell hills today, haven't we? So, well, yesterday, sorry. So, yeah, uh, this is the last stop. Hopefully, we'll see some little gems in here. And then, I'll see you all back in the movie room for what I picked up. Oh, in front of me right now is Roman. Sleep once again. So yeah, I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Hey guys, I hope you all enjoyed that little vlog of me in town there doing a little Blu-ray hunt now. I picked up eight Blu-rays, six of them are Blu-rays, two of them are 4Ks. I also picked up a couple of Funko Pops. And um, I'm going to show off two Blu-rays that Alex Hampton sent me in case you missed that video. I'll just show them at the end there. But first off, I'll show what I got from HMV. Now this first, this was in a 2 for 24 deal, but the price tag actually had 2 for £30 on it. And I was thinking, what shall I get with this? And then I seen it for two for 24. So I think it did have the wrong price tag, but I did see two Blu-rays that I wanted to pick up. So initially it had two for 30 on it. Then I seen it in a different section for two for 24. And that is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Very happy to add this to my Marvel collection there. This is one of my you know, favorite Marvel movies. I have it quite high ranked on my Marvel movie ranking on Letterboxd. I thought this was a great film from last year. It did end up in my top 10 of 2021. Such a welcome addition to the MCU was Shang-Chi. I also loved uh, Katie, I think her name is, his little companion there. But this just had a great story. You know, I loved all the visual effects. I loved Ben Kingsley's return to the MCU in this film. He was so good in Iron Man 3. And I just think this is a really, really solid Marvel movie. I love the fight on the bus as well. There's so many great action scenes in this. And I'm so, so happy to add it to the collection. I think the slip, yeah, it's the same cover there. But uh, I've wanted to add this one for a while now. So glad to get that in a decent little deal. Along with a Disney movie, which doesn't have a slip. But at the end of the day, I'm not... I'd rather have the slip, but it's not the end of the world. I want the movie more than anything. And that is Jungle Cruise. I feel like if you're too picky with slips, you'll never buy anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Jungle Cruise. I also reviewed... Both of these on the channel last year. And this stars The Rock and Emily Blunt in kind of an Indiana Jones type adventure movie. Uh, it's not as good as them films, obviously. But uh, I do think this is an enjoyable, entertaining flick. I had a good time with this at the cinema. It's a little bit long. But for what it is, it's a fun time. You know, The Rock's just playing The Rock as usual. I do think Emily Blunt is one of the best actresses working today, though. And the big surprise for me in this movie was... I think it's Jack Whitehall who plays, yeah, it is, uh, Emily Blunt's brother in this. He was the standout character for me. I thought he was really funny. Um, this has also got Jesse Plemons in as the villain. That guy is just in everything, isn't he, lately? I mean, I think I watched three movies this month just with him in. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, happy to have Jungle Cruise into the collection. I'm sort of trying to pick up all my favourite movies from 2021 because they all do some mean something to me. You know, because I've reviewed every movie I watched that year. So I am trying to pick them up, you know, as as I 
go out on these Blu-ray hunts and add them all to my collection. The ones that I like anyway. Now this was in CEX. This is an Arrow Video title and it was only a fiver. And it's always looked a bit weird to me, but I thought Arrow Video for going for cheap. I'm just going to grab it. And that is Dave Me The Mies. This is only an 80 minute movie. I've never seen it, but apparently this is about a guy called Dave who makes a maze in his living room out of cardboard and it sort of comes to life it's a little bit of a fantasy thing and he can't get out sounds it really interesting it actually i don't know if it's like an indie flick or whatever but i'm looking forward to checking this out especially at 80 minutes it's one you can just throw on and you know it'll be over in not too much time wouldn't it so uh yeah sometimes i don't mind movies with that amount of runtime especially with my young my young son now sometimes we need to watch shorter ones but uh the main reason I picked this up is it's an arrow title and it was going for quite cheap. I think I've heard a few people say this is actually quite a good film. I looked on Letterboxd and it does have decent reviews, so glad to add that one. I will have an arrow. Sorry about that, I've just dropped something there because CEX sticker residue. Um, I will have an arrow video collection coming later in the year. I update it every year. And this one I was very happy with. I've seen this for £10 in CEX and that is Firestarter. Now, just before I show this off, I do have this book right here, and I didn't pick this up yesterday or anything, but my fiancé's sister got me this a couple of Christmases ago, and I've read about every single movie in this. It's every single Stephen King movie that has been made all the way up to 2020, I believe. Um, and, you know, I, I, there's so many that are on my radar now, and Firestarter was actually one of them. I don't know... It's not worth me opening it up, I don't think, but uh, basically... You know, I'll just open it up on one page right here. So you got like well, everything about the Green Mile, if you like. Um, but yeah, Firestart and everything is obviously in there. You got Stephen King it and stuff. So when I read about Firestart, I was already intrigued. But I know there's a remake of this coming as well, so that made me pick it up even more. But this is a nice box set. It's got all the content in it. Uh, I don't know who the label is, but. Basically, you've got a poster there. I won't get it all out. Um, and we also have some art cards. Which I haven't opened yet. And we also have a booklet. So, I mean, all the stuff's in there. Two-disc edition. Uh, I've never seen this film. Uh, like I said, but uh, it sounds interesting. A girl who can just light things on fire with her mind with telekinesis. And it's got Drew Barrymore in A young Drew Barrymore there. So... I'm looking forward to checking this one out more than most of the ones I picked up here. I'm glad to get that nice little edition there. I think this came out not long ago. That edition, anyway. Next up, we have another football hooligan film. And my dad said this is actually quite a fun movie. And I do like football hooligan films. And that is The Firm. I'm getting quite a lot of these in the collection now. I've got Cass, Football Factory, Green Street, Away Days. Uh, I picked up ID last on the other video. And now I've got this. So, yeah, getting quite the football hooligan collection there, if you like. But I've never seen this one, um, but I'm looking forward to checking out. These are just like easy watches, aren't they? Great little British films, so uh, looking forward to that one. Next up we have Role Models. This is dirt cheap, just like, you know, a pound. Uh, I have seen this film quite a while ago. I love, um, basically it's about Paul Rudd and Shaw William Scott. They have to do go to jail or do this program where you have to look after these vulnerable kids for 150 hours, I think. And uh, one of them looks after Fogel from Superbad, and this other one looks after this other kid who's just very foul mouthed and always swearing at him and stuff. It's a fun movie. I love the end where they have to do that role play and it's like a big fantasy battle and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad to add that one to the collection. Not a bad movie. Next, now, lately I've been watching all of the Oscar nominated films from this year. Uh, well, I watched I watched three lately uh, Power of the Dog. Um, Coda and King Richard and I loved two out of three of them and it's made me start to want to watch Oscar nominated pictures from now on as well because I'm starting to really get into them and I heard this is one of the best from last year and that is Minari uh, everyone said this is such a beautiful film and stuff but I haven't seen it yet but I, I, I picked it up because of them reasons I've just stated I think this is about a crazy grandmother coming to live with this family in America uh, and they're like they're from where are they from? Uh, from Korea. They've moved to America, I think. Uh, and this crazy grandmother comes to live with them. I think it's about that going by the back, but I don't know. 
too much about it, but I'm looking forward to checking this out. I've heard it's a great movie. Next up is a British film, I think, and that is Ghost Stories. I think this is three different ghost stories or something, but it's got a uh, Martin Freeman in there, who's just a wonderful actor. I've heard great things about this, actually. I think when it first came out, it was getting great reviews and stuff. So I picked it up. Um, I'm looking forward to checking this out, but again, haven't seen it. I think I've only seen Jungle Cruise, Shang-Chi and Role Models out of this. Them, them eight I picked up there. Now, these two were off Alex Hampton, who I've sent seen, showed them in a video anyway, but I'll just show them again really briefly here. He sent me No Time To Die, which is on par with my favourite James Bond movie, Casino Royale. I love both of these the best out of Daniel Craig films. So, and he also sent me... The Last Duel, which was one of my favourite films of 2021. In fact, both of them were. This is actually third on my ranking. I think this was like... Was it in the top ten? It might have been. Um, I think it was, actually. Uh, it might have just moved out a little bit now because Coda and King Richard have sort of gone in there. But this is a fantastic film. I highly recommend it. A film I didn't think I was going to like going in, but I absolutely loved it. It takes place from three different perspectives. And, you know, it just shows you the... Or two sides to every story or in this film's case three sides to every story Jodie Comet is awesome in this but thank you so much once again Alex for sending me them if you want to see that video it'll be down below and these are the two fungal pops I picked up these are going for really cheap and I just grabbed them and the first one is Mr Freeze from Batman and Robin uh, I am trying I've been picking up a lot of Batman ones I picked up the Joker from 1989 I've picked up two new Batman ones from the new movie and every time I track one of these villains down or whatever, I'm going to grab it. I've been after Selina Kyle from Batman Returns, but I can't seem to find it everywhere. But this was going for quite cheap, so I just picked it up. Love Arnold Schwarzenegger and Batman and Robin. And I also picked up Aladdin. I think this is from the live action version, but for me, I initially thought it was from the animated version. Because he does wear this get up in that film, but yeah. Aladdin is my favourite animated film of all time. So... Or my favourite Disney animated film. Uh, so yeah, glad to add that. So that is it for what I picked up on this out of town vlog. I hope you all enjoyed the video. What did you think of these pickups? I uh, hope it was all filmed okay, the vlog by the way. That's only like the third time I've ever done that. So uh, if you want more of these videos, let me know down below. But uh, I will get back to you all, I promise. Take it all easy guys. And don't forget to subscribe to Aiden, which is down below as well. And I'll see you all in the next video.